No Democratic contender can win without seeking the support of college students. Yes, many of whom are aggressively pushing an agenda based on political correctness. While in New England, we decided to learn more. Microaggressions, safe spaces, gender neutrality, it's all at the forefront here at the University of New Hampshire. People in search of a safe place inside a safety school. <laughs> Fuck, it's cold. Somebody like to talk a little bit about gender identification, for example. Sure. Um, I would say gender identification is whatever gender your soul or identity ties to. No, good point. How about you? What do you identify as besides uh, pretentious? Um, <laughs> who can tell me what the fuck a trigger warning is? Um, well, a, a trigger warning is something that you put before like a video or an article or something that might be difficult for them to, to witness or to hear. Got it. Okay, let me do one. <clears throat> Uh, trigger warning, um, in this video there will be the clear depiction of a dog pretending to be interested in what a college student is saying, <laughs> while at the same time making plans to pleasure himself to her at a later time. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> trigger warning. Thank you. Mansplaining. Would someone like to explain to me what mansplaining is? Thank you. Could you please vag explain what <laughs> vag explaining is when a man says something that a woman says, like explaining it the same way but getting more credit for it. Okay. I still don't get it. Could somebody mansplain this to me? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot for, for you men to learn. You have to learn how to address a female student in the proper way. All right? Can I hump your leg? Just for a second. Please understand. I know I look like a dog, but I identify as a shin guard. <laughs> so thank you very much. I want to say your name. I, I'm very bad with names. I apologize. Since I'm so bad with names, it'll really help me out if you guys wear some labels. Okay, here we go. Just put that there. Thank you. Uh, UNH on the map a few years ago talking about words that are outdated for example uh, poor person outdated now instead of saying the word poor you say person who lacks advantages that others have no economic status related to a person's education occupation and income it's as simple as that. <laughs> Wouldn't you call that offensive at this point? Freshman? I think it's actually on there. You want to be called first year students, yes? Yeah. First year students. And sophomore should be called tried being a lesbian, didn't love it. <laughs> and then I think junior year should be called plan B pregnancy scare. And senior year uh, should be called lesbian for good. <laughs> Instead of freshman orientation, you call it first year orientation? Yep, first year orientation. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did you just say first year orientation? Shouldn't you be saying first year Asian mentation? Yes, frat boys? I think that's a very offensive term, frat boys. Instead of frat boys, how about rapist Americans? <laughs> back to the election. That's what I'm covering here. Among all the candidates, uh, which socialist 74-year-old Jew would you like to see elected president? <laughs> I want you to know, he is going to break up the banks. I think we should break up the big banks. Well, then how are you going to access your parents' money? <laughs> how about, like, the roasts? When you see, uh, you know, Donald Trump or Charlie Sheen get made fun of. It's funny, it's some good fun. But I mean, it's not, it's not politically correct. Here's what a politically correct roast would sound like. I'm going to do the best I can, okay? Your mom's so plus-sized that her blood type is ragu. And I only know that because the insurance industry did not sufficiently protect her privacy rights. If the PC police had their way, 
it could mess up one of our most beloved pastimes, talking dirty. Who's your daddy? Not acceptable, right? But who's your non-gender specific male authority figure? <laughs> who's your non-gender specific male authority figure? You're a dirty little whore. Makes you uncomfortable? Okay, let me try this. You're an unwashed, diminutive victim of job alternative deprivation. <laughs> you unwashed, diminutive victim of job alternative deprivation. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right? No, offensive to people who don't believe in God. My current conception of a higher deity, which oh, shall in no way infringe upon your conception of a higher deity or lack thereof. Oh, oh. I'm going to conduct a little social experiment right now, okay? Come on in. Oh, hey, everybody. How is everyone doing today? Hi. Excuse me. How are you? Oh, see you. Hey, girlfriend. Oh, yes. How are you doing today? Oh, pretty mm. good, pretty good. Is this candy for everyone? I assume oh, so. Well, oh, I did not it's really. It's a delicious candy. Oh. <laughs> mm. What are you going to do after this? I'm going to do all kinds of stuff. It's going out be, with the girls? You better believe it, girlfriend. Okay, right. buddy. Take care. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. <laughs> all right. Okay. How would you describe that person? Really friendly. <laughs> friendly. Good. Outgoing. Uh, outgoing. Energetic. Energetic. <laughs> he took a piece of chocolate without asking. Let's say that it had been more serious. He's committed a crime. This is a police sketch artist. He really needs to know what this person looks like. He was outgoing and friendly. Anything? That's okay. not allowed to go on. Any yeah. physical aspects of this person? Yes. Afro, tall guy with an afro. An afro, you know, kind of like uh, Richard Simmons, maybe, or <laughs> Justin from American Idol. Is that what you mean? Those yeah. kind of afros? Yeah. You'll describe him. Sure. It was a larger, obese, African-American male. Oh, Between snap! 200 and 300 pounds, I would guess. Obese? Yeah, you called so. him obese? They would find him real quick. Shame this man! <laughs> <laughs> he was a person of size. He was a person of size. <laughs> Did his voice sound like anything? Anybody have a comment on his voice? He had a slight speech impediment. A speech impediment, good. Any more? Can anybody try to impersonate him? Do his voice. It would really be helpful. You understand? Yeah. Go ahead. It's kind of. From, yeah. The voice. Oh sure. Uh, well, you know he. He kind of had, you know, the affect going on. And what, what kind of affect oh, do you mean? Oh, just something very flamboyant. And flamboyant. Is that code for something? Oh, uh, yeah. He's, code for what? He sounded like he was perhaps of the uh, homosexual. <laughs> no! I can't believe what I'm hearing! <laughs> These kids have not learned a thing today. Okay, let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Oh my God! Look at what you've done! He's eating fried chicken and he's holding a dildo. Now how do you feel? With your hideous description of him. I'm sorry. Thank you. And how about you? Who's the one who said that he had dark skin? That was you? Mm -hmm. You see what happens when you use politically incorrect terms? That's what happens. Right there. We have to be very careful in our society of what we say and how we describe people, especially in New England, where police sketch artists are notoriously racist. <laughs> Marcus, come back here. What is all this? He told him how, how you that this you were like me. this. <laughs> You just told him that I'm this? No, I, you just not. You know what? what? What did you say? I, what did you say? Tonight? You I, called I, him I, what? I, what? I, Huh? Look what they have you eating. Look what they have you eating. I don't, I don't I, like I, anything <laughs> you're saying right now. I need you to hush. This guy, this guy right here. What did you call him? What did you call me? 
African American male. Ah, can you believe it? African American male. You don't know a damn thing about me. Okay. He said you Check identify. Please. You don't know what he identifies as. No, I, None. I said person of color. How dare you? <laughs> Let's just. Yeah. I hope you here. all remember this day. There he goes. That's the best professor you'll ever have in this school. You've learned more in the last 90 seconds than you're going to learn in a lifetime in New Hampshire. Do you understand that? Now can I hump your leg? No. All right. <laughs>